Hai Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And hi everybody We are from Ghost Papers Group From Set 2 will present to all of you About Merpati Case First of all let me Introduce to all of you My 6 team members I Muhammad Mahamzi bin Muhammad Rasidi A157499 Ong Min Min A161718 Muhammad Zulfitri bin Rostam Afandi A158098 Nur Hafizah binti Jamil A158948 Muhammad Zuhilmi bin Muhammad Yusof A157288 Su Jawi A161620 First of all, let we take a look of the introduction of the Merpati case Merpati company is the company that was established 30 years ago where the Merpati company have formed by chairman of Merpati Albendro Bridge Merpati company have developed luxury boat building industry Merpati company also have 2200 employees whereby 1940 out of 2200 employees is from skills boat building technician include the supervisory staff 188 of them is from office and administration staff 22 is from senior management staff and 17 of them is from sales staff and remaining of them is the sales agents Merpati company was listed on European Stock Exchange Boat building facilities Merpati company based at the Northern European and they have two boat building facilities whereby the first one is located at Northern European and the second one is at USA Merpati company use two currency in their transaction the first one is euro and the second one is usd dollar boat production merpati company produce and sold luxury boat to the customer based on the customer needs production will take 3 to 10 month per boat merpati company have 180 different model The sales price range that Merpati company put to the customer is 0.4 million to the 9 million. Three installment was implemented by company to their customer whereby the first installment is a deposit of 20% is paid by the customer on signing a binding contract for a boat as specified by the customer. Second installment is 30% is paid when the boat engines are delivered to the boat building facilities and the rest of it 50% will paid by the customer when the boat have complete after the customer inspection on the boat extra cost may be included for delivery purposes merpati company was accept two currency The first one is euro and the second one is USD dollar. Merpati company motto is what the customer want the customer get. So, let take a look on the problem statement that faced by board of Merpati. Some issues that facing by the board of Merpati at their buildings include the new building that have been set up in Suranian which is located at Middle East. What are the issues? They have six issues that faced by board of Merpati whereby the first one is a new design supplier for Suranian company, second is accidents at work, third is racing boat, fourth is sales staff, fifth is JKL and the sixth last but not least is a late delivery of hull from top crease next we take a look the prioritize of the issue our group have decided to arrange the issues that faced by merpati company accordingly where need board of merpati need to settle it first the first issues that we decided for merpati company need to settle it first is late delivery of 
a tile from a top wrist. What are the issues of this problem? The issues of this problem is where the supplier top wrist have failed to deliver raw material which is hull to merpati on time. The hull supplier top crease is expected to fail to deliver the hull to Merpati for two months late where Merpati supposed to receive it on 1 December 2013. This is due to top crease has recently won a new major client but in doing so had to agree to some working charm the normal queue. Paul Fett the top crease should not do as they wish as Merpati has been a customer of their for 20 years. Next is Paul also found new supplier for a hull or for their productions. We take a look the impact about late delivery of a hull from a top crease whereby the merpati will face the two impact from the supplier that send the raw material late to them the first one is financial impact and the second one is merpati company reputations the financial impact we take a look the financial impact whereby the late delivery might affect Merpati operating schedule which means the finished boat not being delivered to each customer until 31st May 2014 which is also two months late. This will cause the Merpati customer to think that Merpati has no punctuality in delivering order and the customer might go for other boats builder companies. It will affect financial statements of uh, Merpati company whereby Merpati company will face losses if their customer lose if their customer run away from the contract next is reputations of Merpati company reputations of com uh, Merpati company will give effect whereby the loss of customer the customer will find the other boat builder company and this could reduce the revenue of merpati and slowly merpati will face the threat in the financial position if merpati is facing loss rather than profit then the share price will definitely drop and its reputation will surely affect as well So, what the solution Merpati needs? The first one, either Merpati continue use the same hull supplier, top crease, or find a new hull supplier. If Merpati uh, choose to continue use the same hull supplier, Merpati company can accept the offer from top crease that they suggest to Merpati, whereby they offer the assurance to the merpati second merpati should amend the contract with top crease so that top crease do not repeat the same mistake to them second solution is find a new hull supplier whereby merpati company terminate the old supplier which is top crease and find a new hull supplier with this new hull supplier the production of the boat can produce on time, customer will not complain it and the trustworthy will be more from the customer. But if Mupati find a new hull supplier, they need some cost on it about 30 thousands of the cost. Hello everyone, my name is Ong Min Min with the matrix number of A161718. Now I would like to talk about the second priority issue of this Mabati case is accident at work. 
There are a few issues that we have found in this case. The first one is management issue. Merbati's health and safety record has always been good since it was formed, but it is more by luck than good management. However, not everyone is lucky all the time. Its good record has been plotted by one of its employees, a Scotsman named Paolo, working with high on drugs and, fo- and was fall off and broke his leg at the workplace. The second issue was ethical issue. Paolo had ethical issue where his irresponsible and selfish attitude, breaking the rules of health and safety rules in working place by consuming drugs before working. Furthermore, a marketing director named Jasper was aware of his occasional recreational drug taking habit. However, he decided to ignore his behavior as he believed Paolo has not allowed his habit to interfere with work. Next, I would like to talk about the impact of the issue of curse in this Mabati case. Despite the good reputation of having zero records of health and safety issue at the workplace, however, the accident happened to Paolo had indirectly blotted Mabati's copybook a little. Since Mabati was a listed company with more than 30 years of operation experiences, it cannot be denied that the high reputation or popularity of their business, hence this issue will definitely spread to outsiders such as the public and the shareholders. So their management will be judged by the outsiders as they were putting less effort in health and safety management in this workplace. Moreover, their standards of hiring an employee will be judged too. In addition, the confidence towards company and the efficiency and productivity of the employees or staff in the company will be influenced as the health and safety management of the company did not reach their expectation. Besides, Merbati will need to overcome a great financial impact such as medical fees to Paolo's injuries, the cost of improving in management, the loss that need to bear, the cost of marketing such as advertisement and so on. Next, I would like to talk about the solution. There are a few solutions that we could recommend to Merbati such as implementing a good health and safety management in the workplace. As an employer, it is your legal responsibility to ensure that your staff receive appropriate workplace health and safety training as well as job-specific training to improve competence and confidence. So, Merbati management should provide the training as well as clear instruction, information and advices help to avoid the financial cost of accidents and occupational ill health and develop a positive health and safety culture. The second solution is promoting ethics in the workplace and independent at work. Business with strong workplace ethics add value to the organizations and support an environment where employees feel safe and valued. The management of Mabati could communicate ethical expectations which is the code of ethics to their employees. The code of ethics should state the organization's primary values and the ethical rules that employees are expected to follow. For example, in this case, Paolo should be exposed to the organization code of ethics so that he would not consume drugs before attending to work and he must know that legal action will be taken as consuming drugs is an illegal behavior. Moreover, before hiring an employee, human resource department should make sure the future employee should not have any close or family relationship with the key personnel involved in top management. This could avoid the issue of conflict of interest to be happened. Hello, my name is Muhammad Zafitri Berustam Afandi, A15809A. Okay, now we go to the next issue, which is JKL, the investor of this company. Uh, so basically, in this scenario, there is three subtopics, which is the first one is the issues, second one, the impacts, and lastly, the recommendations. Okay, now we go to the first subtopics, which is the issues. 
from this scenario there are two issues arise which is the first one is relationship issue and the second one is the unethical issue so now we go to the first one which is the relationship issue between the chairman Alberto Blanc and marketing director Jasper Blanc from this situation, Jasper Blanc is currently planning to organize and build a racer speedboat in a competition but at that moment, he does not yet receive approval from the chairman Alberto Blanc which also doubles as his father. Simon Lallet, the investment director of uh, JKL told that since Alberto Blanc and Jasper have kind of father and son relationship in this company, the decision that may be made by Alberto to Jasper will be bias influenced by Yidia relationship okay next we go to the second issue which is an ethical issue and it is all about alberto blanc treat the company like his own property as we know that alberto blanc is a person that have strong believer in the importance of charity work when simon lallet visited the head office to meet the financial director andreas acosta she found out that he is on his many charitable visits. From this issue, Simon Lallet thinks that Alberto Blanc uh, is using the company like his own property. Otherwise, that actually a company is owned by the directors, shareholders and investors. Simon also thinks that there is a misuse of company money when she calculated the cost of charitable work, costing of the business five many years time in 2007 itself and it is contradictory to the stati statistics that only stated the cost of three many years of time okay now we go to the second subtopics of this scenario which is the impact that might be arise from the issue stated um, so the first uh, impact that might be arise is from financial impact due to shareholder satisfaction is very important. Alberto Blanc's decision might cause suspicion to JKL side and it might cause their relationship to be at risk. And um, Simon Lallet might think that the disclosure that they have been made which is three many years of time might be fraud after it have been recalculated and show other result which is five main years of time jkl trust also might be affected and they also might break up their relationship with the company and from this action taken by jkl it will be affect the share price since jkl hold 28 percent of share of the company and this will make the company face financial issue the second impact that might be faced by the company will be reputational impact the action that might be taken um, by jkl which is um, break their relationship with the company will make other investor and shareholder question why jkl take this action since for this while their financial result is good and doubt by other investor and shareholder will take place to the activities that have been done by the company. The share price will fall due to the action taken by other investor and shareholder. Thus, reputational position of the company might be a fact. Okay, now we go to the last subtopics of this scenario which is the recommendation and solution that might be taken by the company to overcome the issue and problem that they are facing right now so basically the first solution that can be taken by the company which is to communicate with shareholder and investor since it's very important to solve the problems all managements need to communicate with other investor and shareholder in making all decision and planning something even big or small things for the company and the information of the charitable work needs to be informed to all parties related especially to disclose the decision making procedure with fairness and trust furthermore the approval decision on the son of the director need to get support from other and investor and shareholder and the second solution that can be taken by the company is the transparency of charitable work done by the com company 
all decision must get approval from all investor and shareholder to make any activities and refer to the issue details of the charitable work must be exposed and show to other investor and shareholder and the details can be the budget the procedure and the expectation of the final result from the activities also they need to disclose the correct amount of the details and we can refer to the issue which is to show the actual cause of the charitable work amounting five main years of time i think that's all from this scenario thank you Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Hafiza binti Jamil, matrix number A158948. Now I will continue on our fourth prioritas issues that was racing boat. The issues is about Jasper as a marketing director wants to build an race speedboat in the competition and he think this idea may lead to more sales of Merbati's performance motorboats, the P3000 specifically. But his father Alberto, the chairman, thinks this idea actually costs too much and not confident that this boat will make the Merbati known worldwide. Okay, next is the supporting factors of why Merbati should produce this product. As the technical director design, Lucas Dayan also believed that there is a strong opportunity to build larger boats which would be in the range of 35 to 40 meters in length which will have a bright market prospect in the Middle East because the press launch of Merbati's first 38 meter boat in May 2013 had a good response and there is an increasing demand for large boats. Also, when, um, when large boat demand becomes too high, Merbati will make a lot of profit and benefit greatly due to the excessive demand from Middle East. Okay, this is our calculation the break even units formula as to make sure Merbati can achieve or not the target sales of the boat. As the fixed cost is 28 million euro, selling price per unit at 4.4 million euro and variable cost per unit is 3.6 million euro. So when we sum up all the the number according to the formula, there are 35 units that Merbati should sell during two years onward. Okay, when we look uh, on this graph, it shows that when Merbati can sell the boat above 35 units, then the company will get a fair fair return on the cost of making the boat since sponsor fee of 5 million uh, euro is already in Merbati's annual financial statement and the design, development and build cost of the first boat just happened in one single year. Uh, according to Jasper, this action will be definitely lead to more sales of Merbati's motorboats, the P3000 specifically, as the profit of P3000 before tax is 0 0.8 million euro per boat. If P3000 boat of Merbati wins the race, it will be a relief for sales volume. Besides, there is a also risk that Merbati will face if they want to continue making this boat. There is so much news reporting that boats explode or burn during building or delivery. For boat building business, a boat consumes a lot of material and money. Once it explodes, explodes or burns, all the money are gone. That is really huge loss and can make the reputation of company is at high risk because of negligence in delivery. P3000 also is Merbati's most expensive type boat. So increasing its sales volume is a shortcut for Merbati to make profit within two years. In the same time, it will earn some fame in the speedboat racing field but they have to invest more money as expenditure will increase. And if the sales of P3000 boats cannot be up to 35 units, this may not reach the break-even point. Besides, 20 million euro of fixed cost is a large number. So if the market prospect is not as good as the expectation, uh, I think it will make a big loss for Mabati. Next is the benefits of the produce this racing boat. If the sales of the third 
building facility in Middle East are in the good condition. As this is in a great possibility, there will be a good beginning for a large boat market and Merbati will be in a virtuous circle such as increased productivity, increased export and also uh, increased growth. Then more investors might invest in the company for having successfully sold various of boats in addition to grow brand awareness. Last but not least, based on the above assessment, this proposal should be accepted. This is due to the increasing demand for the large boat and uh, this racing will enhance the brand awareness. This will give the Merbati's large boat market in a good beginning. Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Zul Hilmi bin Muhammad Yusof Metric number A157288 So I, I would like to explain about the fifth issues which is sales staff in this, in this Merbati case So based on Stephen Gill's opinion Since Merbati was formed, they used agent system in selling and promoting their boats to the customer Sales agent is responsible to maximize sales in order to get more commission most of the sales agents work for Merbati only, except a few agents that also work for other boat building companies. The selling process includes finding a customer, engage with the customer, signing the agreement, building boat and deliver the boat to the customer. So what is the factor? The first one is understanding about the demographic. Sales agents come from different country. They have their understanding about the demographic of some places in their country. For example, the level of income, the lifestyle of the people. So, they have the target market for their Merbati's luxury boat. They also will not face the communication problem because they have mastered their own language. Second one, second factor is cost. Sales agent will get 4% of the final revenue of the boat as their commission. The more hardworking, the more commission will be paid. So, sales agent must get more customer to make sure the, their commission are higher. Marbati do not pay fixed salary to the agent, so the commission system is very efficient. And the last one is bonding. Sales agent already have a strong bonding with the customer and well known with Marbati's system. The management of Marbati and sales agent is well managed. This can be proved by the growing of the sales and business operation. Besides, this sales agent system that have been used since it was formed. Sales agent already know about the system, so that will easier to get more customer and promoting Merbati's luxury boat. So we go to the second opinion, which is Mary Lopes opinion. Merbati want to want to increase their revenue in 2017. It's mean. In 5 years, Merbati need more marketing strategy and planning to increase the sale in order to meet the target. Mary Loop suggests to hire sales staff for Merbati. So we look for the factor. The first one is full control. Sales staff different from sales agent where the staff are hired and owned by Merbati. Sales staff have their own routine that instructed by management of Merbati. Merbati can develop marketing strategy and plan for their business operation to meet their target in 5 years as guidance that have to follow by sales staff. Merbati can set goals or target that have to follow by sales staff in order to meet the target. The target can be monthly, quarterly or semi-annually. The, the second is valuable asset. Sales staff are very valuable asset to the company which is Merbati. Sales staff are the frontliners that have to make sure sales is increased and consistent for the Merbati. It is different from, from sales agents because sales staff are more independent. The customer information that owned by sales staff also valuable asset of Merbati compared to sales agent because some of sales agent also work for other building boat company. The third one is contact with customer. When using sales agent system, all the selling process is handled by agent. In selling staff system, Merbati can contact directly with customer. Sales staff can get the information of the customer needs and other information then give it to the Merbati. 
This can increase the relationship between customer and Merbati. Therefore, Merbati can analyze the segment and market demand. So, they have a good marketing strategy. So, we go to the recommendation. In my opinion, management of Merbati need both opinion Stephen Gill and Mary Lope. This is because both opinions are still relevant in 5 years soon. Sales agency system still can continue their job in increasing sales and marketing due to the limitation of the Merbati building facilities. Sales staff might be used to find new market to increase the engagement with the customer. Sales staff can be hired near to the building facilities to generate sales around the west coast of USA and Europe so they can manage by themselves for the nearest customer. Sales staff also can manage the marketing strategy to help marketing to help Merbati get more sales and well known worldwide. Good day to everyone. My name is Suja Wei with the metric number of A161620. Today, I'm going to present about the sixth issue of Merbati case which is the new design supplier for Surania. The issue of this case is about the new boat building facility of Marbati in the Middle East is nearing completion. However, the interior design supplier remains unresolved. There are two potential design companies which are Cooper Designs and Arabian Interiors who are willing to grab this opportunity. So, Marbati need to design the suitable design supplier who can provide their professional services to them. There are five major factors to be considered which will affect Marbati to choose their design supplier which are the technology, capability, distance factor, cost, market needs, and communication between supplier and customer. First of all, let's talk about the technology capability. A higher technology capability can help to boost the effectiveness and efficiency of a progress, and so it will result in cost reducing. Therefore, Mabati should take into deep consideration of both design suppliers about their technology capability. As stated by Lucas Dean, both design suppliers are using the CAD system in their company. However, Cooper Design is doing much more better than Arabian Interiors due to Cooper Designs had provided an extra net services to their customer, which allowed their customer to remotely view the current design for their boat at any time to ensure their customer are always get the updated progress of the boat building. Due to the customer cannot simply make any changes on the system, so it provides the customer and the designer have a better communication and relationships between each other. Second is about the distance factor. The longer the distance of suppliers to Merbati's boat building facility, the higher the cost of goods sold will incur. Cooper Design Art was located far away from Surania boat building facility which is about 200 miles as they are a multinational boat interior design business based in Western Europe where they can attract more customers from all over the world to buy their design. While Arabian Interiors is located nearer to Surania than Cooper Designs, so it will result in a cheaper cost delivery and the time taken for traveling will be shorter. Thirdly, we look into the cost. Cost is the value of the product or service which will be affected by the reputation and recognition of a company. In order to increase the competition advantages in the market, the cost incurred should be as low as possible. A mid-sized boot in the Merbati range would be in the region of 100,000 euros for the design fees of Cooper Designs, while Arabian Interiors would only charge around 90,000 euros. Next is regarding to the market needs. Due to they are the demand for the market, so we need to provide the needs to the market in order to make profits. Besides, market needs is one of the factors in choosing the right supplier. Cooper Designs are able to fulfill the needs from the market as they provide the high quality of traditional and also modern designs, which they had won the best modern design at the recent Dubaria International Boot Show in 2013. Designs based on the market needs are easier to be accepted by the customers and fulfill their desired needs. However, Arabian Interiors only mainly creating of Arabian flavor design, where they have won the best Arabian design boat interior for the Dubaria International Boat Show in 2013. Although it's closer to the local culture needs, but only have limited choices to choose. Lastly, it's about communication between supplier and customer. It is important that a better communication between supplier and customer to lead to a better understanding, so it can prevent any mistakes. 
as a result, a better communication between supplier and customer can create a better long-term relationship and increase the customer loyalty. In this case, Cooper Design had a better communication with their customer as they are using the extra net services to allow their customers to be involved in the current design for their boat at any time, while Arabian Interiors only focus on their expansion of market without taking their customer opinions into deep consideration during providing services. In conclusion, I think that Mabati should choose Cooper Designs as their design supplier in Surania as compared to Arabian Interiors. This is due to the reason that they have the higher technology capacity, better communication with their customer and are able to provide the market needs to as compared to Arabian Interiors. Although Cooper Design had charged more expensive than Arabian Interiors by 10,000 euros and located farther than Arabian interiors but in the long term view as they are able to make favor to their customer and gain the loyalty from their customer the sales volume might be increased and it can cover the expenditure incurred in their business thank you so as a conclusion of this case Merpati are advised to solve the issues according to the priorities that we have suggested so that Merpati able to minim uh, minimize all the possible impact and losses that might could be caused to them. That's all from Ghost Papers Group. Thank you.